Speaking to you from beautiful Philadelphia. If you're a fiction writer, I want you to do this exercise with me real quick. I want you to say to yourself, I am not so much a writer as I am a story creator. Think of your artistic practice, think of your writing as story creation. And the reason this is so helpful is there are many amazing activities that all put together we call writing, but they none of them can go very far if if the creative side is, if the new original material is not there in the first place, everything, all of the other wonderful modes of writing lose their steam and we get writer's block. But if we identify with being story creators, we're getting to the heart of the matter. We're, we're looking at what is essential before any of the other gears can get moving. It's about story creation. When you think of yourself as a story creator, what you are doing is you are giving a very strong signal to your subconscious about what kind of modes you want it to develop and, and get better at and, and what sort of subconscious pursuits you want it to go after and what sort of gifts from the subconscious do you want it to bring to you when you're a story creator you're you're, <clears throat> you're in a process looking for that original material and not just for the sake of being original but because this sort of objective brings us to a place where our lives are about discovery, about waking up to, to what is really there, not to what we've been conditioned to think is there, but to become newly alive to, to that great mystery that first confounded and delighted us. So I want, to, I want you to say to yourself, go ahead and say it out loud right now. I am not so much a writer as I am a story creator. Contemplate it, identify with it, think of it during the time that you're writing, and it'll help you get tuned into what, what, it, what is it the essence of writing. What happened with me is that without setting out to I would get story ideas, so I would just, I would be going about my day, not concerned with being artistic or creative, and I would, I would get a story idea. And I didn't think so much about where story ideas come from, but we can gain a lot from looking at where, what kind of story ideas there are and where they come from. So one thing that can happen is that we get an idea for a character. We really like this character. There's something about this character, just a great story character. But the problem is, is that when we are excited to sit down and turn it into a story and write about it, we fall short. What, 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 what is going to happen? What is this character going to do? What, you know, it, it, it doesn't take us as far, and it's so disappointing because this character would be amazing in a story if we just had some ideas about what situations that character would be in, what would happen. Another thing that can automatically happen to us story creators is we're just going through our day and we get a great idea for a scene. This scene is magical. It's we would love to visit there in, in real life if we could. It fascinates us. We get a great amount of enjoyment thinking about that fictional scene, that setting, and we 
are excited to go home and write about it. And again, what actually happens when we think the things that we think happen are so disappointing compared to how wonderful the scene is? The two cases I described to you, yes, they can be discouraging, but they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with the fact that it turned out that way. Essentially, through continuing to practice writing, we have our favorite characters and scenes that just haven't, we haven't been able to add to a story, but we remember them. And later on, when we're working on other projects, we may all of a sudden, when we need that character, or we need that scene, there it is waiting for us, as developed as we happen to work on it and, and develop it at the time, and we can resurrect them and, and bring them into to a current project that is just at the, at the perfect time. We just needs that right character or scene. So any creative endeavor, any creative work at all that you do is never a waste. Never, never, never a waste. I think back to all those odd creative projects I did that, that at the time I ended up leaving them incompleted, but, but overall it is through the work of creativity that we, we store up a lot of future capabilities for the new projects that we start. So, as fiction writers, if we are story creators, what can we do to, to build on that? Here is an exercise or exercises you can do. Almost all new stories start out as a story idea. As I described before, the story idea could be in the form of a character, or it could be in the form of a scene. But if you do these exercises, you can, you can set up your subconscious working in ways that, that could bring a lot of great new material to your story creation process. So change these exercises around however it suits you, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and say that you every time you sit down for a writing session for, let's just say, the next month, or at least, or try to do this exercise 30 times. Do it enough to where you feel like it's really made a change to your subconscious. Sit down and you're looking at the blank page. Come up with a new dangerous situation. So what you're doing is you're coming up with a new story idea that is at the kernel of a great new story. And in it will, in, instead of finding yourself lacking for who the characters are in the story and what the scenes are in the story or what actually happens in the story, by coming up with a new dangerous situation, usually in that little idea that that kernel of thought is is it's 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 like dna is just ready to to we it, it leads us to know exactly what kind of characters new wonderful characters will be involved in that dangerous situation because they are a part of that dangerous situation if depending on what that situation is we automatically will know what kind of characters will 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 make for entertainment value get the most entertainment out of that dangerous situation and also that idea of the dangerous situation the scenes that we come up with they they are implicit to that first thought what is the dangerous situation also, it's helpful to try this exercise. Do it in a different genre each day. If you do do this exercise the next 30 times that you sit down to write, pick out three different genres and, and, and find a dangerous situation for each of those. Let's go ahead, let's do one. Let's, just because the romance genre is usually, we don't think of that as involving dangerous situations. I want to show that really, like any good story, at the heart of great stories is 
an interesting, dangerous situation. Overgeneralizing for a, a, a second here, what are most romances about? They're about will that will that possible romantic couple work out or not? And that is the whole fact. That that's the whole compelling aspect of a romance. And so, the dangerous situation can be whether or not they actually get together, whether or not they they become a couple. So let's just say that he wants to be one of the first astronauts to go to Mars. So this is, there's a year from now, the, they are going to pick the four astronauts and there are thousands of people from all over the world who are just dying to get the opportunity and, and he's one of them. And he meets her because she's one of the he meets her because she was one of the near-earth space debris cleanup personnel for clocking in four years in space and and she is going to be one of the people in charge of training and 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 finding out if all of these possible recru recruits have what it takes. So, so the problem, the dangerous situation is that they just hit it off. It, 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 it happens by itself. She finds herself totally communicating with someone easily where for throughout her entire life, she's always felt a little bit outside of, of you know, so, uh, always kind of an outsider and, and they have just these great times together, but the looming danger is that it's actually she's going to be the one to, if he goes to Mars, he's never coming back. He's, <laughs> so basically she, in a way, it, it, you know, she's really, is going to need to, she's really divided about this whole situation. I would not be surprised if you came up with a better dangerous situation in the genre of romance. So you get the idea. And the thing is, is that when we, when we come up with these new story ideas, that is the jumping off point. That is, that is very similar to those moments we have, we have had that have made us excited about fiction writing. But if you practice it, if you go ahead and, and do some exercises around the story idea, the essential story idea, it's sort of like, you know, in, in karate they teach you to do a different stand. And, and basically it's one where it becomes the most difficult for someone to push you over and you are in the best place to, to jump forward with the most power and stability. This is very much what we want to work on when we, when we develop how we come up with those new story ideas. Your subconscious always has your best interest in mind. Your subconscious is always going to bat for you, is, is always going to great efforts to make your life flourish and wonderful things to happen in your life. Not just survival, but to, to thrive, to have a great time in life. And through doing this exercise, your subconscious will, will, will say, will get it, will say, oh, the next time that I want to gift the conscious mind with a great story idea, I can put it together in the form of a dangerous situation because that's going to be, that's going to be a gift that unwraps into all these great new characters and unwraps into all these great new scenes and will be able to develop into a complete story, not a story that is lacking, oh, it is a great story, but what exactly is going to happen? How is it going to turn out? All the different possibilities about how these stories can turn out are implicit in 
the scenario a dangerous situation. Exciting fiction is about having a sense of what could happen. So when we're on, when we're engaged in a work of fiction and it has us sitting on the edge of our seat, the reason is is because in our minds we're thinking of all the possible outcomes. And a dangerous situation has in it all of the possible outcomes. In the example I gave you about the astronaut, you know, you know about what could happen. She could sabotage his chances of going to Mars. If that happened, he could find out and get angry. You, you know, when I told you a dangerous situation is automatically implies all the different possibilities and that makes for an exciting story. So remember, there's a kind of knowing that you can only know by actually putting in the footwork. This is to know, I mean, yes, we can get a, you can get a sense what I'm talking about just by watching the video, but go ahead and, you know, set out to do the practice. Do it at least five times. And then you're going to know it in a different way. Then it is the kind of knowing that the more you, you practice certain exercises, the, the, the more you're enlightened, the more that, that it becomes your own discovery, not just gaining knowledge from someone else, but gaining knowledge through your own creative practice. The first time you sit down to do this exercise, keep in mind, I'm not talking about a dangerous scene. A dangerous scene could be where the protagonist is tied down in a chair and there's a sword being dangled over them. That's a dangerous scene. I'm talking about a dangerous situation. This is where the protagonist is a stowaway on an interstellar ship. It's always helpful to look for the essential dangerous situation in great storytelling that, that you find particularly compelling. Like, I recently watched Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones, and I noticed that the dangerous situation was gradually revealed. Yes, there were many dangerous scenes along the way, and many not so dangerous scenes along the way, but in the course of the story, what happened is the essential dangerous situation that the main characters were in was gradually revealed. So when you sit down to do this exercise, what are some ways that, 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 that you can come up with, with new dangerous situations? One thing you can do, okay, this, this is a, a creative exercise and and one thing that we can always do with creative exercises is to put a hand, put handles on it, figuratively speaking. So let's put a couple of handles on this exercise. Let's, okay. First of all, we can find something of value and we can get creative about, you know, what is at stake? What is it at value? And, and so what are, what are the different things that, that, we want to acquire or maintain, take care of, or, or achieve in a dangerous situation. So what is a value? It could be someone's, it could be someone's integrity. If there's, if you're doing a, a drama and, and someone might lose face with their company if if that could be the dangerous situation so the thing of value is their business integrity it could be someone's life you know the 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 life of the hero whether or not they lose it that thing of value is their life so if you get, if you get creative about what is of value in the dangerous situation what is at stake what could be harmed or what has not yet been achieved you know if if someone is trying to find a buried treasure 
that thing of value is the, the, the dangerous situation is whether or not they will even find it. So it could be a, a, if, you know, it's still a dangerous situation because if they don't find it, they're still, you know, what, what other choices do they have? They, they, they missed out on that, that great life opportunity. So when you're brainstorming, First, try to locate what is of value. What is what is it? What could the character lose or gain that they need to protect? They need to work for. They need to search for. They need to fight for. So that's one handle. Locate what is it value and get try to get creative with this because the more you get creative with that the more you can come up with original storylines that other people have never even thought of before. And remember, this is just an exercise, so you could go ahead and entertain things of value that you know you probably won't ever write that novel with or even a short story with, but it's still a good exercise. We can look at, at this other handle we can use, which is how is that thing of value put in danger? Thank you for watching. For those of you who have left comments, words of encouragement, thoughts that have to do with the videos that I put up, I want to thank you very much. Your comments are the biggest reason I keep making more of these. So the next time you watch one of these videos, know that you're the biggest reason that I keep making more. If you like my videos about writing and creativity, please get me back and hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and tell a friend. If you have some time, please check out my, my fiction work put in video, illustrated, audio format at solomation.com. It's Bizarre Alternate Reality Fiction. I hope that your I hope that you get some great new story ideas, story scenarios. I hope your writing goes well and have a good day.